prevail. Young, I'm so proud that my little sister is joining me at Beacon. Ruby, Young, stop it. The squad just moved by the bickering siblings. Young glances at the guy who's leading. Young, hmm, mama likes. Ruby, Yang, don't be creepy. Ruby looks at the group and found them all cool and edgy. Lady, so this is gonna be our home for the next four years? Dante, yeah, that's what Virgil says. Nero, cool, gotta text Curry to come join us later. John, Fine, just no funny business. Don't disgrace our family by fooling around. Nero blushes and looks away. Dante, geez bro. We're just going through puberty. You don't have get your panties in a twist. John, someone has to be responsible in this family and clearly you can't do it, you man, baby. Dante, wah, you. Lady just giggles. The bullhead arrives at Beacon. John, well, this is gonna be fun. Dante, don't act like it's not gonna be fun now. Then an explosion came out of nowhere nearby. John and his team went to the source. Ruby, ugh. John, so you like just laying around? Lady just elbowed John out of the way and helped Ruby. Lady, don't mind him. Here, let me help you up. Ruby, a uh, hi? Lady, oh my name is Lady. Ruby, a weird name, but neat. Lady, yeah, I get that a lot. This is Nero, your average edgelord. Nero, hey. Lady, the other guy is Dante, a dumbass, deadbeat, bounty hunter. Dante, yeah, but I'm yours. Lady, please, and Mr. Tall Cold, and brooding over there is John. Mr. Edge Lord over 9,000. John just gives a flat wave. Ruby, cool. Hey, I also got this. Ruby shows off a massive side. Dante whistles. Nero puts his hand over his chin and John just looks at it impassively. Lady. Whoa, is that a sight? Ruby. And it isn't just a sight, but it's also a high-impact sniper rifle. Lady. So it's also a gun? Ruby shifts it into its rifle mode. Dante, damn. Nero, hmm. Not overly impressed. John, Mecca shifting. Are you kids today? Ruby, what's that supposed to mean? Can I get your permission to lay underneath you? I want to ask how you're doing and mean it. I mean it. Lady, they're firm believers of the classics. She gestured at their weapons. Ruby stared at wonder. They were not Mecha Shift, but all of it are fully customized. Ruby, oh, what are those? Dante, haha, <laughs> knew it she's a weapon nut. Like that gun artisan. Ruby, 
You mean you know Nicoletta Goldstein? Dante. Well, does she made my guns. Ruby, can I have a look? Dante then drew his dual pistols. Ruby, Aara, do they have names? Dante, this is Ebony and Ivory. Ruby, wow. She then looks at Lady. Dante nods to her. Lady then shows off her bazooka. Lady, well her name is Kalina and Ruby, who she has a bayonet and what's that at the other end? Lady, smaller missile pods for multiple targets. Ruby, e -E. Nero just showed off his Nero. Let's get it over with. This is Blue Rose and Red Queen. Both were basically made by me. Ruby, wow, you're like me. I made Crescent Rose. The three were just blinded by her cuteness. John was the typical silent protagonist. Just kidding. He's just complex. Ruby the went around John inspecting his katana. Ruby, so does he have a name? John then gives her a flat state. John, his name is Yamato. Ruby, so he's just a simple katana? John, no. If you want to know, you'll see in due time. Ruby, ominous. Uh, hey, do you know where we're going? Dante, I don't know. Lady face palmed and Nero shrugged. John, the auditorium. When they arrive, a loud voice rang out. Yawn. Rubes, I saved you a spot. Ruby. Well, there's my sis. I'll see you guys later. It was nice meeting you. Team DMC. Ashbin made his speech. Beacon Ballroom. They entered the room and are immediately greeted with meatheads flexing. Dante was gonna show them up but he got his ear pulled by Lady. Lady. Dante, you are taken. Don't even try to flex in front of other girls. She said as she drags him along. The crew walks by the sisters. Ruby. Oh, hey, Lady. Hey, John. Hi, Dante. You too, Nero. Young, you know these guys' roofs? She inspects the merchandise. Young, so you guys single? John just closes his eyes and nods. Nero just grunts. While Lady locks her arm around Dante's arm. Lady, sorry this one is taken. Young, so how about you too? Nero. Me too, so stare at Big Bro over there. Young looks at John. Young. So lover boy, you interested? Before he can reply, Ruby pushes Yang out of the way. Ruby. Stop creeping my friend out. John. Thinks I'm not comfortable with those kind of topics. Ruby, no problem. SHHH. They look to a girl with a bow reading a book. Blake, please be more quiet. There are other people here. Ruby, sorry. Will you keep it down? People are trying to sleep here. Ruby. Gah. 
It's happening again. Twice. You nearly blew us off, Beacon. Yawn. Wow, you really did blew up. Ruby. It was an accident. Yawn. Okay, we kinda started on the wrong foot. Ruby. Hi, I'm Ruby. Maybe we can hang out and be friends? Weiss. Yes, we can paint our nails, shop for school supplies, or talk about boys. Like tall blonde and brooding over there. Dante. Whoa, hold your horses, Snow Princess. What got your panties in a twist? Young Giggles. Weiss. Why I never. Nero. Che. Is this an academy or daycare? I don't know if you're a potential student or a whining baby. No one insults my big brother. Weiss was fuming. John grabbed the candles from Blake and just turned off the lights. The next day. Hallway. Ashpin. Mr. Ark. May I have a word? John looks at him suspiciously. Ashpin. I know who you are, or more accurately what you and your brothers are. John. Are you threatening me and my family? Ashpin. No, but I am concerned. Why are you here? John. To receive licenses to operate against this who meant my family harm. Ashpin. Can you elaborate what happened? John. Someone is hunting my family. My siblings and I are safe but our parents went missing. I know for a fact they're alive, but my dad would opt to keep away from us to draw our pursuers from us. But I know it will take a lot to take him down, and he's busy enough keeping an eye on mom, that's for sure. Ashpin, I see. You have my best wishes, and I wish to work with you in the future. John leaves for the platform. Ashpin gave his usual speech and the launches the kids one by one. As they flew, they knew that they have to stick together. Dante used air hype to grab Lady and lands in the forest near where Nero is about to land. Lady, you do know I can land fine by myself. Dante, yeah, but I can't risk letting you get paired up with another guy. Nero, so you two love birds are already partners, huh? So where's Big Bro? A crack in space appeared and opens O to a cross portal as John walks out in his typical fashion. John, everyone here? Let's rock. The rest deadpan. Dante, that's my line and you suck at it. John just grunts. DMC has started the party.